Mr. President, um, a few days ago, uh, we lost a prominent Tennessean, Harlan Matthews. He's 87 years old, lived a long and distinguished life. Uh, he served in the Senate seat which I now, in which I now have the privilege of serving. Um, when Senator Al Gore was elected vice president. So 20 years ago, uh, Harlan Matthews retired from the Senate after two years of being appointed here. But that, that was by a long shot, not a description of his public service. Senator Corker and I yesterday were at his funeral memorial service in Nashville, which was a, a, a beautiful service, a simple service as he would have imagined. And the theme that kept coming through again and again and again was what a fine mentor and a unselfish uh, public servant Harlan Matthews had been in our state for 60 years. Uh, he was a World War II veteran. He came to uh, Vanderbilt University and in 1952 met a young governor whose name was Frank Clement. Uh, a rising star in national politics, became his assistant and served in a variety of state government positions uh, uh, all the way until, with very little interruption, until he was appointed by Governor McWhorter uh, uh, to serve uh, for two years in Al Gore's seat. Then 20 years ago, Harlan Matthews uh, decided not to run for re-election and has lived, uh, lived the last 20 years uh, in Nashville. Uh, we were there with his wife, Pat, and his sons, and a host of friends. Um, what, I, what I think about uh, uh, Harlan Matthews is that other than his great friend, former Governor Ned McWhorter, no one had more friends around the state capitol than Harlan Matthews did. So we're here today to, to uh, to pay tribute to him and to his family uh, uh, for a life well lived, for service to the state of Tennessee, and for being uh, a man who has mentored uh, as many uh, young public servants as our state as anyone that I can think of. Mr. President. Senator from Tennessee. Um, I too want to rise and talk about a uh, former colleague to many in this body, uh, Senator Harlan Matthews. It was uh, touching uh, to be yesterday at a, at a funeral service where so many people that he had mentored uh, stood up and talked and talked in conversation around the gathering that we attended uh, about the great mentorship that he provided. And I think there's uh, no greater legacy that any of us can provide than to set an example for other people and to create opportunities for other people uh, coming along. So uh, I want to join the senior senator who I know served with him while he was governor. Um, I had the great opportunity to get to know him as a new and young commissioner of finance in our state in an appointed job and no one no one was kinder to me than former Senator Harlan Matthews, who's been involved in so many great things that have happened in our state. Uh, his wife, Pat, uh, complimented him in an extraordinary way. Um, Harlan, I think one of the greatest attributes uh, was his constantly uh, saying, you know, so much can happen in this world if, uh, if no one cares who takes the credit. I think he was a quiet force for good in our state. Uh, has been a quiet force for good in our country. Uh, so many of the things that caused him to be the kind of person that he was are things that many of us, I think, could emulate and cause uh, the United States Senate and our country to even function, to function much better than it does now. So I want to join the senior senator I have so much respect for in, in, uh, in making sure that the, the Senate record records uh, the great work of Harlan Matthews, uh, U.S. Senator, Deputy Governor, uh, Treasury uh, Leader in our state, but also Commissioner of Finance, someone who provided years and years of great public service, years and years of great mentorship, and has, again, a legacy of people who served with him and under him who've gone on to do wonderful things for our state and country. So, uh, Mr. President, I yield the floor uh, with great gratitude to, towards a wonderful public servant, Harlot Matthews. Mr. President, I thank, I thank the Senator from Tennessee. And what he said, I was thinking yesterday during the service, 
Harlan uh, was known for working quietly, being modest. His service was only about 40, 45 minutes to reflect that. And he would have been a terrific United States Senator if he'd been here for 20 or 25 years because of what we know about him. He, he wasn't out front. He was behind the scenes. He worked to get things done. He's always result-oriented, and he didn't mind who got the credit. Sometimes there's a shortage of that in the United States Senate then and now today. So uh, he had those rare skills of a public servant that are always valuable, always needed. And his, his wife, Pat, his son, Stan and Les, his granddaughters, I know, miss him deeply as we do as well, but uh, join us in admiring his life and his example. I ask consent that following our remarks be included uh, an obituary detailing his public service. Without objection.